Hi, my name is John Sustar and I'm a marketing engineer in the CDS group at Train. Today I'll be talking about modeling dedicated outdoor air systems in Tray 700. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create and apply dedicated outdoor air systems. I'll show you how to do this by setting up various dedicated outdoor air system configurations. Along the way, we'll discuss a couple of important considerations for modeling these systems in Trace. And lastly, we'll go through a couple of energy conservation strategies that can be implemented in conjunction with these systems. So what is a dedicated outdoor air system, which I will abbreviate as DOAS? Dedicated outdoor air systems, which are also known as makeup air units or optional ventilation units, consists of a separate air handler that conditions incoming outdoor air before delivering that air to local or terminal HVAC units or directly to the occupied spaces. The dedicated outdoor air system is typically used to dehumidify, cool, and heat the outdoor air. In any of these cases, the local HVAC units handle the remaining space cooling and heating loads that are not met by the dedicated outdoor air coils. Additionally, conditioning this outdoor air separately from the recirculated return air has the advantage of providing sufficient outdoor air to meet prescribed ventilation requirements. Lastly, constant volume terminal units without dehumidification enhancements usually don't remove enough moisture at part load to control indoor relative humidity levels. So providing cold air from a dedicated outdoor air unit can help satisfy some or all of that space latent load. Now to demonstrate how a dedicated outdoor air unit can be applied to a system, let's consider an airside system with a room level coil such as a fan coil. The DOA, which can be found on the roof in the schematic, meets the outdoor requirements by treating the outdoor air for all the rooms in the system. The conditioned air is then supplied directly to the rooms, and the fan coils, which are controlled by room thermostats, satisfy the remaining cooling and heating loads in each of those rooms. Another common configuration is to design the DOA so that the conditioned outdoor air is delivered to the return outdoor air intake for each of those rooms' fan coils. The fan coils then condition that mixed air to meet the remaining cooling and heating loads. So before we go into trace, I just want to point out a couple of big picture modeling considerations and limitations. First, when creating a system in trace 700 that utilizes a DOA, the DOA system is considered as being a part of the primary system. In other words, the DOA is not created as their own system. This will make more sense when we go into the program. Second of all, the dedicated outdoor air coil can be set to system, zone, or room level. The coil level dictates where the dedicated ventilation unit or units will be placed as shown in these three diagrams. For example, if system level is selected, all zones within the system will share the same DOA. However, if room level is selected, each room will get a separate DOA. And lastly, the DOA system cannot be shared among multiple systems in order to condition outdoor air across several systems within your building model. If you are modeling a building that has a dedicated outdoor air unit serving several systems, the workaround is to create a separate dedicated outdoor air unit for each of those systems. Next, I will walk through the following three scenarios for modeling dedicated outdoor air systems in Trace 700. First, I'll provide a scenario where the outdoor air is cool to a room neutral temperature without dehumidifying that outdoor air. Second, I'll show an example where the conditioned air is drier than the air in the space, but it is also reheated to a room neutral temperature. And lastly, I'll go through an example where the outdoor air is conditioned to be drier than the air in the space without any reheat. So for our first scenario, we're going to be considering a building with a DX dedicated outdoor air unit that delivers 75 degree room neutral conditioned air directly to the space during the cooling season and then during the heating season, it's conditioning that outdoor air to 70 degrees. This design will be suitable for an application where dehumidification is of little concern, such as a commercial kitchen. So, on a hot and humid summer day during the cooling season when it's 95 degree dry bulb, 78 degree wet bulb outside, the cooling coil in the dedicated outdoor air unit will cool the outdoor air to 75 degrees without dehumidifying that outside air. As seen on the site chart, the dew point of the conditioned air exceeds the dew point in the space, which will potentially result in high humidity in the space, assuming that those fan coils are not able to handle the ventilation and space-laden loads. 
describe the scenario, we're going to go into Trace. And so the first step is to go into our Create Systems. And I'm going to select a fan coil for our system type. And I'll just rename that, click Apply. And then we'll go into our dedicated OA tab. This is where we can select our configuration for our DOA. And so I'm going to select Cool slash Heat for this one and then control method that defaults to fixed set points so I'm just gonna set that one as fixed set points for this scenario because we are saying that the DOA is supplying cold air at 75 degrees and then the heating dry bulb temperature is 70 degrees for the dedicated ventilation schedules for cooling coil heating coil and optional ventilation fan this is where you have the option of creating schedules in the utilization schedules library and then applying those schedules here. We're just going to say that all these items are going to be available 100% in our model. For the deck location, the default is return outdoor deck. However, this is a room direct DOA system, so I'm just going to select room direct and then level is going to be system since this DOA is supplying air at a system level. I'm going to hit apply and now we can go into our fans tab and this is where we select our fan for our fan coil and our fan for our DOA so I'm just going to select some fans here and you can enter in your static pressure for both of these fans so I'm going to close out of there and now we go into our assign rooms to our system just going to put all those rooms on that system. Now we go into our create plant section and so we're saying that we have two plants one is going to be dedicated for the dedicated outside air coil and the other one is going to be for our fan coil. And then our two heating plants one is for our DOA And the other is for our fan coil. And now I'm just going to drag air cooled unitary onto our DOA uh, chiller onto our fan coil. And then for our heat, uh, gas fired heat exchanger, and a boiler for the fan coil heat. And we can go in here to the cooling equipment and configure our, our cooling and the heating equipment to configure our heating plants. I'm just going to leave all those as default. I'm going to show, the, show you the next section, which is assigning systems to our plants. So here we can actually split off our main cooling coil, which is our fan coil, from our DOA cooling coil. So I'm just going to take this main cooling coil, drag it onto our fan coil plant, take the optional ventilation cooling coil, drag it onto the DOA DX plant and do the same thing with our heating coils. And so now I've, I've configured my DOA so that it's a separate plant than our fan coil and we can go in there and that's how we model our first scenario. For our second scenario, let's consider a building that is served by water source heat pumps with a DOA that delivers conditioned outdoor air to the individual heat pumps. The conditioned outdoor air from the DOA mixes with the return air before entering the water source heat pumps. During the cooling season, the DOA dehumidifies the outdoor air to 52 degrees dew point and then reheats it to 70 degrees dry bulb. During the heating season, the DOA heats the outdoor air to 68 degrees. Examining the psych chart once again on that hot and humid summer day when it's 95 dry bulb 78 wet bulb outside. The DOA dehumidifies the outdoor air and then reheats it to approximately space or space neutral temperature. The resulting dew point of the conditioned air is drier than the space, which means that that DOA is removing part of or all of the space latent load. Alright, so modeling this system type in Trace, I've created a second alternative to represent this cool and reheat system. And so I'm just going to go into the create systems of the second alternative. And this time, 
we are modeling water source heat pumps. I'm going to select water source heat pump as a system type. It's going to rename that system. Click apply and go into the dedicated OA tab. Now this time it's going to be different. It's a dehumidify and reheat system. And once again, we have a fixed set point for our dry bulb and dew point temperatures. And so for our dew point, we said it was 52 degrees for a cooling dew point. For cooling dry bulb, we said 70 degrees. And then for our heating, it's going to be 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Once again, I'm going to leave these dedicated ventilation schedules as available 100%. Uh, this time for the deck location, it's going to be return outdoor deck because that outside air is being delivered to the back of the water source heat pump and being mixed with that return air. And then our system is going to be set as system since this dedicated outdoor air coil, these coils are supplying outside air for the entire system. And now we can go into our fans tab. This is where we can select our fan type for our water source heat pump and then our fan type for our dedicated outside air system. Go into assign rooms and assign all those rooms to that system. So now I've created a system, a water source heat pump system with dedicated outside air with this cool and reheat scenario. For our final scenario, let's consider the same building as in our last example with the water source heat pumps. And during the cooling season, the DOA is dehumidifying the outdoor air to 52 degrees dew point. However, in this scenario, we are not heating that air up to the room neutral temperature. During the heating season, the DOA heats the outdoor air to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, this building has a system level controller that uses humidity sensors in the rooms and resets the dew point leaving the DOA up to 60 degrees dew point in order to prevent relative humidities in the worst case room from rising above 60% while minimizing energy usage. In other words, we're optimizing the supplier dew point in order to meet the dehumidification requirements in the rooms. So looking at the site chart once again during the cooling design day, the DOA unit cooling coil dehumidifies the outdoor air, resulting in a dew point that is drier than the space. In addition, since this DOA has a controller that has dew point optimization, the dew point leaving the DOA can actually float up to 60 degrees of dew point while maintaining adequate humidity levels in the space, which is set to 60% in this scenario. So going back into Trace to model this scenario, on the dedicated OA tab, we need to change this configuration from dehumidify and reheat to dehumidify or cool slash heat. In addition, we need to change the control method from six fixed set point to optimize supply air dew point. For our cooling supply air dry bulb, we're going to enter 60 degrees. For heating supply air dry bulb, 68 degrees. And then for our high limit on the dew point is 60 degrees, for our low limit is 52 degrees. For our ventilation schedules, we're going to keep those as available 100%. And then the dedicated ventilation location, keep those as return outdoor deck and system level. In addition, we need to go into the temp humidity tab and we need to enter in the maximum room relative humidity to control that uh, supplier dew point at and the only other uh, control method that I've neglected to talk about is this optimized supply air dry bulb. And there's also this optimized supplier dew point and supplier dry bulb. Uh, what these allow you to do is float the supplier temperature so that the cooling load is zero in at least one room assigned to the system. In other words, the unit provides the right amount of cooling without overcooling any of the rooms, which, uh, which reduces energy cons consumption because there's less reheat energy. So now that we've covered how to configure DOAs in Trace, I want to mention that the DOA unit may include an energy recovery device such as a total energy wheel that conditions that outdoor air prior to entering the coils. The wheel preconditions the outdoor air 
by exchanging both sensible and latent heat with the exhaust air. In heating mode, the wheel warms and humidifies the outdoor air, and during cooling mode, the wheel cools and dehumidifies the outdoor air. So in order to model this total energy wheel that is upstream of the dedicated outdoor air coils, you need to go, you need to go into the Options tab. Within the Options tab, you have the Stage 1 Air-to-Air -air Energy Recovery. I'm going to select Total Energy Wheel Outdoor Air Conditioning. A message will appear that asks you if you want to account for energy, energy recovery. During the design calculation, I'm going to select Yes. You can always change that by going up into Actions and then change the load parameters and deselecting that box. Next is the supply side deck. You have the option of putting this wheel before the ventilation coils or before your main uh, coils. I'm going to select ventilation upstream. And then exhaust side deck, you have the option of system exhaust. Or if you have room exhaust airflows in your rooms airflows tab, you can select room exhaust but you always want to make sure that you select the, the right air flows right here. Here's some additional resources that you can check out that relate to energy modeling and the application of dedicated outdoor air systems. And lastly, here's our contact information if you ever need help or have questions with Trace 700. Thank you for your time and good luck energy modeling.